Welcome back to Cosmotea. My name is Nilaus and I will be your Starship Architects and Commander today. Again today, I dare say thank you very much for your, the continued support. It just makes me want to create more content for this game because it is so well received and there are so many good, quest so many good questions and comments and uh, ideas as well for making our bulk cube or whatever we want to call it here. And it, it needs to be bigger. It needs to be, uh, well, it can't be much bigger if we look at it. Uh, we are kind of kind of squeezing it out here it can be two tiles longer and it can be a little bit wider but then it's a big square brick and for better or worse i know that there is an option to uh, to just make it larger but i don't think that if i do that then then it's just gonna be then one of the big big constraints that i have is what is the maximum value i can get within this confined space and um, if I just make it twice as big, then I just make it twice as big, and then I don't have this challenge. Uh, I might do that sort of at a later stage if I if I want to, and if you continue to see that. But right now, I like that my design constraint that this is the size I have available. It's maybe not the most beautiful ship. Okay, it's not. It's it's pretty damn ugly, but. Um, it's it's all about being efficient and effective so let's start by uh, by talking a bit about how to improve this because i think a lot of things are working really well but we want this to be a ship the single ship that can handle anything anything in the galaxy here and that's still pretty tough so let's uh, look at it well we're gonna need more shields up front for the rail cannons I feel and I also kind of feel I want to have more rail cannons like maybe six would be good because I can kind of put it here because that's our main weapon it's pretty good so that that would be nice and boosters in terms of this this I got a lot of comments about it and what I did not realize was that when you boost with a booster rocket then it just uses a lot of power obviously I knew that but once it exhausts the power let's uh, actually see if we can get a tooltip here um boost on boost off and uh, let's see 100 use 100 percent thrust and continuous it doesn't say anything about this hmm some people have said that it's not refueling while boosting i don't see that mentioned anywhere but even if it is refueling then i would still say that there's there's a there, there's a problem with keeping it up in, in any case because I just can't provide enough to keep these up. So what I think I want to do is uh, just switch them to the huge thrusters reverse so that we don't have a boost potential because the boost are also having a longer cone here. So if we switch it to the boost, the thruster, huge thruster, then we'll have more sustained reverse and we can pack it tighter. That means since we're going to be adding more bulk to the ship, then it'll be slower. And if we can then say instead of having one, two, three, four, then maybe if we can squeeze in five somehow without boosters. And I think it would be more worth it. And then we'll also have four sets of four huge thrusters in either side for reverse. Um, that's pretty good. We need to add more weapons because of course we need more weapons. And what would a capital ship be without nukes? So we're going to have to add nukes. And my thought is that these things here are good for reversing or for sort of sideways, but they don't, they're not used for, uh, for turning. And I think that's because it's too close to the center of mass. This is a center of mass. So thrusting here to turn doesn't make sense. If we can move it further back, maybe it'll be used for, for thrust, for, for turning, for pivoting instead of just for sideverse movement. And then we're gonna be have to do some kind of reshuffling here between these two and the new modules and all that, and then add a nuke module. This is basically gonna be this module, but uh, with nukes. We also added the tractor beams last time, but I think we added so many things last time that we didn't get to really try what tractor beams are good for. I would like to potentially make a uh, little video about sort of the silly things that you can do about with, with the tractor beams, because there are a lot of silly things and you probably know some of them if you're following other YouTubers, but there are other uh, funny things you can do that I haven't seen mentioned or at least not sort of consistently. Then of course, we can't have a ship in uh, in my world without a giant factory. So that will sort of be something that we definitely need on our ship is a factory. So that's uh, another thing. Another thing that we also see is that putting the mining lasers down here means that I can, they can barely reach out front. So let's see if we can sort of move them up here or here or something like that. And those will be the, basically the designs we want to make. 
So, uh, I'm gonna admit this is a lot of work on, uh, on, on doing this kind of redesign, but those are my priorities. And, um, well, it's honestly several hours, so I tried to sort of figure out if I could do it as a time lapse, and there's just so much fidgeting. So, uh, we'll, um, we'll be having to wish this away and then uh, explain what's, uh, what's coming. And so almost the hardest part of, uh, of doing a new design is getting all of the materials gathered in one place in order to do the upgrade. And man, has that been uh, taking a while for, for me to get that done because I need quite a lot of stuff here. And it's not just uh, a lot of stuff. It's uh, also just, um, I wonder why, oh right, 140 credits for one tri-steel. Great, one tri-steel. And so this is the coils and the hyper coils that was really haunting me. And also, you know, 921 additional tri-steel and 300 uh, enriched uranium. It's kind of pricey to do this, but I'm sure it's worth it. Let's click the damn thing and see what's uh, what happens. Right, what has happened now? Well, the ship has gotten significantly bigger and um, nothing is working, obviously. Uh, let's start with the centerpiece because that is the main part of this. This is obviously not gonna work because we need to get resources in here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be having to, uh, to, to... I want a bit of movement, but I don't want all the boom, boom, boom sounds. Right, so what I've done uh, here is I have now added the first one and then we had the second one and then in between I've made a lot more space and that is based for two super shields which will be serviced up here and then the rest is just idle space. I have nothing else to use it for. Um, don't know, maybe it could be storage but I don't really feel that I need storage so bad that I want to put it in here. Uh, it also makes um, makes it more, more heavy but yeah, you know, it, it is an option. Uh, now, what I've also done with our uh, fueling here, there was one of the things that sometimes it was actually getting out of fuel. So now what I've done is each of these small uh, locations will feed one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. So six of those. And they also have this little location. I, I'm, I'm kind of proud of this one. I think it's a cool little design. So what I can do is I can switch it over here. That means now they have access to go in. That means I can go in and buy more resources here uh, that, that's uh, there if I buy more ah this is one of those you can't buy from okay well we'll, we'll, we'll just just get them all from all these locations here and we just mm, okay take out all of the other ones actually that oh that's a big ship actually interesting oh interesting you can look inside ships when you're in I don't know why I can look inside ships well, I can look inside that ship for sure. Oh, that's because it's my crew in here now. I bought the crew, so now I can look inside. Oh, what a messed up uh, storage they have. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually pretty cool. So if you buy their crew, you can uh, look inside. That's interesting. I uh, don't know. That probably doesn't work for uh, for this part. But hey, it's worth an option. Right. Um, the idea is that now they will be able to get into this location because they can come in. Uh, we can do it in a crew location. I can just, for example, take from here and then... Oh, right, it actually just already worked. So for this case, you can see they are now happy and I can make move them here. So now they can no longer go out and they are constrained to this little space. I think that's pretty good. And then they can feed this area and then I can do the next thing for the next. It makes it a little bit easier because this was just idle space. In any case, we have more super shields. We have uh, shields here, we have shields there. And I hope that's enough. Uh, it, it's probably, I'd like to have more. Let's just, let's not kid ourselves. I'd love to have more than what we have, but that's just not an option. Other things that are changed, like minor change, uh, the mining lasers are now up here. Uh, these uh, thrusters here, this is uh, up top. And the other one is at the bottom so that they will be used for pivoting as well as used for side verse movement. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we have the prism mo module here and the same identical prism module here. They will now go out and out. And in between that, we can just squeeze in our EMP rounds. And we can also see that we have one, two, three, four, five clusters of uh, reverse thruster here in, uh, in this location. I think that's pretty damn good. I just feel that maybe the music is just a little nudge too loud today. No, no change. Uh, let's go into the build mode so we can just have a look at it. And then we have, this is our new cluster. This is uh, our nuclear missile factory. 
it produces nuclear missiles and puts them here, which will be put into these two locations. It's slightly different because it has to be different because of the missile factory. One of the things that I don't particularly like with this one is the fact that in order for them to, well, they can, like the crew is assigned here. And if they want to help move EMP rockets in here, they have to go half speed, half speed, half speed, half speed. All of this is half speed. This is really bad. So this could do with an optimization for crew movement. And this is what I've tried to do here. So there's no, it takes more space, but it also has like corridors for movement. Uh, someone was mentioning that they've been testing it extensively. And I thought, you know what, I'll give it a shot uh, because I think it's, it's something I've kind of been looking at as well. Then we have a little, I would dare say wasted space, but we do need uh, all the storage we can. This is just taking care of storage, getting some, uh, some, uh, PDCs and also maintain the super shield. This cluster is maintaining the super shield and then used for pivoting. This is a tiny little cluster that also just takes care of a few things. So those are not different. Uh, the this has been overhauled for for ammo. I really like how it works. I think it's uh, it's going to be good. Uh, we also have on the side here and here we have identical factories. You absolutely do not need identical factories. I was just in mirror mode and then I realized they built two and I go like, yeah, I kind of want that. What is important to note is that I don't have storage for raw resources. So the only thing we can store, for example, in terms of gold is this has gold capacity 10. Since there are two of them, the gold capacity is only 20. But when we find a gold uh, asteroid then it doesn't really get us more than 20 and if it gets us more than 20 by the time we get the 20 in then I can just sweep it up again and get the rest so I think that's a good idea as well see tractor beams they are where they are uh, let me just uh, nukes um, I kind of want to set the nukes to just free fire because they only have 300 range I think uh, I think we have to do it over here they have they are super fast when they shoot Let's see, where's 250 meters? Yeah, so this is a, let's say point blank shot. So basically what I want to do is, I want to say if, if things get too close, then I'm in trouble. And that's when we just start launching nukes at, at stuff. And I would particularly say that nukes for a ship like this is not great because what they do is they fly out and then they target and then they rush, rush to that target. But if they move in the meantime, then they sort of lock on to a point and then they will miss. So. That means anything that's sort of approaching us is likely to be closer to us by the time the rockets, the nukes hit the location that we were aiming at. And it's just, they're not great for that, but if I sort of have someone coming out on the side and then they will be surprised by getting four nukes to the face, I think that's a nice surprise. It's not for them, but for me, it's going to be a nice surprise to have that. So nukes will not be integral part of it. I could move it forward, but I really just want it. I mean, 250 is not very long range. It is even less than the cannons, right? Uh, no, that's 190. So by the time this shoots, then down here, these will also shoot. So this is really the point blank. Again, our main weapon is going to be, uh, be our railguns, obviously. But I do also want to test the other things. I do, after all, have two times 16 prisms. That should do something, right? Uh, but we want to make sure that we go up against the toughest enemies. And, uh, well, the, the thing is, the toughest enemies, we can't, with this shield here, we just can't endure it. Um, a few disruptor shots or a nuke or anything like that that hits it. And then we do need to retreat or get some distance. And that's where our... The tractor beams are going to be coming in handy so we'll use the tractor beams either to pull things in to rotate things or to push things away if we if they feel that they're getting too close with a lot of reverse thrust then that should be possible with pushing them away and pushing ourselves the other way we should be able to maintain a distance and i think that's going to be still a key part so there's a lot of weapon systems on this that are only for emergencies because we will be using railguns most of the time. That being said, it's just going to be a bit boring to just see railgun fan, railgun fan, railgun fan. We're going to do some of it because it's freaking awesome and I love the sound. But we do have to make sure that we test the other systems. So I think that what we need to do is now do all of the mess I did that last time with the, with the rerouting. So uh, this, this time we already have all the rerouting done. I hope. There. All of this is done and 
that's a lot. And also on the crew part, all of the crew is reallocated. All we need to do now is fill up the crew and uh, just find some crew, get them up there. In terms of crew, we are up to 574, which shouldn't be a problem at 4,000 uh, fame. We're gonna be taking it out for a spin and then uh, see how it goes. The first test we wanna do now that we have a full crew complement is the speed. Uh, we're also seeing some things in terms of performance in the game now, and which is a bit unfortunate, but not surprising. Speed is up to 78.5. I think that is a really good speed for a monster like this. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. We have all the full crew complement. Oh, oh, and we have uh, engagement. Right. First, pause. I think I'll be trying... Okay, first of all, I went back to this zone because things are a bit easier. I wanted to do some testing. And you could actually get a bit of a reputation still for some quests. That's why we have improved our reputation. Um, but it's uh, it. I want to be testing the other systems to see how that works. Um, and we will have our hotkeys hotkey setup. Let's go through it. And here. So the six rail guns are going to be on on one. I will disable the rail fan right now. Uh, this EMP is on two. They will be free firing and well not fire yeah fire at will and nukes fire at will i love the fact the idea of just having fire at will nukes like yeah that's just that then i have one of those set to pull and another one set to push and i could also take like both of them with seven and then i'd have to make sure that i set them to the same thing on six we also have fire at will for our uh Kent and I will be alternating because we don't want to send like full barrage. We just want to want them actually to alternate. Uh, on eight, we have our prisms out here. They are also set to fire at will, and we'll just go through just to make sure that they are pointing the right way. Yep, they are. They're all pointing, so that should also be working. So basically, we have everything just fire at will. And so because there's so many different systems that I can't cope with it, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I think we ha also have another way that we have to engage here is that since we don't have the thrust to immediately, the booster thrust anymore, to immediately reverse, then what we need to do instead is to just kind of slow down before we get there. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you... That's far away. We'll sneak up on this one and just... I wonder if they are on the attack vector. Oops, oops, we are got something. An Acolyte of Adara. Adara. Uh, what is this kind of ship? This is a weird ship. So they have one bridge, but if we're not railgunning, then we can't just uh, go straight for that one. They have EMPs. They don't have nukes. Very important the way that they have nukes. These should be easy to shoot down. Uh, they have some rockets here. They should also be easy to shoot down uh, with all our PDCs. So they have a ton of shields. So if we can shoot some shields in here, that would be great. And then we're going to go for this one. Um, these two are going to be a bit annoying, but let's see. And they will also have a good amount of uh, of prisms there. Then I'm going to be doing... See if I can pull you and push you, for example. So that will be sort of trying to skew it off. Uh, off. It doesn't have as much... Uh, forward thrust it does have a bit of forward thrust but uh, not much and then yeah let's see since we don't use the rail cannons we actually have to engage at a closer range let's do this range and go and we want to make sure that these do not engage as well if they do we might be in trouble all right we just got some shots in here that's really good because we took out the shields all of these shields and we need to go out here so they are shooting at us as well. We could also just pull really close and then fire some nukes at it. Uh, let's see, what is the distance we would be nuking at? Um, I guess this is the distance to nuking. I would guess. Let's uh, let's go for the nukes and see if we can get those out and about. That's a nuke. Nukes are coming and... Yeah, they're pretty shit. <laughs> well, we did hit scratch it a bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what I actually want is I want this to just push away because we're getting a bit close to this. And why are we... We should be tagging everything on that one. Our 
Our shields are okay. Holding up, holding up. And now we start cascading things in. Oh, wow, there's another ship. Is that dead? Yeah, it's dead. All right, so this is a... Do you have nukes? No, but you have a ton of EMPs. All right, this one uh, doesn't have as much shields, so we want to pull back and also free fire everything on you. Oh my god, it's bad. Slow. And I want to push you away. So this is just free firing. Why is it free firing? They're, they're lasers. And this one, they should be taken out before they get in here. So we're going to be phasing the lasers. There are disruptor shots as well. But the EMPs will not be there. Now, if we switch this to hold it at this distance. There. Good. Okay, so there's a definitely a, a bit more effort to it when uh, we're not having this. And we did a bit of repair bill. Ouch. I think it might be been out here. Did we lose any crew? Nope, no crew. So that's the best part. And I guess we have this one. Now, these are not particularly dangerous enemies. But uh, with enough of them, then... And also without our main weapon. All right, here we have an absolute barrage of, uh, of missiles. So the question is, can we stay out of range? I don't think so. Um, it doesn't have much in terms of thrust. So we could do... Like reverse thrust here. And the other one. What? On four is set to pull. And five is set to push there. So we'll try to flip it counterclockwise. And I will get my rest of the ship to just work our way through this and then go here. I guess. Is the 4 and 5 still attached? Yeah, they look like they're still focusing on this one. Okay, cool. Let's scale down to a normal speed. And we will also be... What range is a good range against this? I guess... We have to get within prism range. Because the prism is what we have to... What is going to do with our damage. The fact that this one is here might actually be helpful. Uh, our rockets here are not going to do anything. Because... There's, yeah, they just don't do anything. And there, here comes the brush. I don't know if we can shoot down everything. Let's see. No, well, almost, but it uh, certainly is taking a bit of a... No, not really. It's not really doing anything. And we're now exploding our way through it. That's a bit annoying that this was in the way. Yeah, so that's the forward shot here. And let me just go a little bit closer. Because they're shooting their rockets anyway, so we might as well shoot ours. I can also just turn these off because they don't have a value in this fight. Uh, these would really love to shoot. And at this point, we are just trying to flip it, but it doesn't really do much, the, the flipping part. They, they're just burning to get away from us, but that's not helping. There we go. Got it. All right, so those were just sort of some easy fights. No problem there. Not a big surprise and didn't take a scratch, obviously. Like normal high explosive rockets and EMP rockets are not dangerous. And nukes are very dangerous because they're so fast that we can't really reliably intercept them. Right, so instead of us... Uh, Pursuing that, we suddenly became uh, overwhelmed. And I bet he's turning around and that would not surprise me. All right, we're going to stop here. Break. Because you're going to come in. All right, so this is like a spam of small ships. That's interesting. So what do we want here? We want to make sure that we just push them away. So they will be on free fire and they'll be just pushed away as they get closer. We have to just, we just shoot at stuff that comes in. And yeah, they'll be they'll be coming in at, at they'll come for us. Let's launch a brush. And it's gonna get pushed away. Uh, this is kind of annoying that they get pushed away so much. 
because we don't have time to actually trigger. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's so funny. But, um, so, <sighs> all right. So here's, a, here's the thing. I really wish I could target the ship on something and then that would, would attack that. But have my, have you just not triggering as well? Because I keep rotating here. There. I would like to have, I would like to be able to shoot at everything, but have you, for example, like, there. You're going to push that away, but I want everything else to shoot. And I can't really do that because if I now to target everything on this guy, then it also stops being targeting those out there. Yeah. And there's always going to be... Oh, there we go. That's the real threat. All right. Let's focus on this. And what is the objective here? I think we'll go for these. And we're going to have to ignore that. Where are my nukes? Where are my nukes? And yeah, let's do that. It will try to get a bit of distance here. There we go. And then now we'll get the distance. And then we'll also be pushing. I think we want to push this one away. Push away that one. Because I really don't want to be dealing with both at the same time. This one needs to be taken out quickly. Good. Is that it? Okay, that's a ship that just got wrecked by just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And we can actually push this away. So I actually want to change this to keep it at the same range. And then everything goes on this one. Now we actually have enough to keep a distance. But I don't think I want to keep a distance against this. We do have to kill it. So we'll try to keep this distance. And there. So you can shoot, but you can't really get much closer, can you? Push away, push away. Push away. All right, it's gone. And the next ones, they should, they're just small. Take those out. Good, and the last one. And we'll disable any of this because that's not really needed right now. And the last one. Oh, right, we are too far away. They'll never catch us. There, good. Looting and also filling up and then we'll head to another location so we can uh, also get uh, get a bit more of a challenge but also use our new rail fanning. But I think it was important to just get a bit accustomed to uh, to how the system, all the other auxiliary systems work. Here we're up against a single enemy. So this should be interesting to see how difficult that one enemy is uh, comparatively. I'll just break here so we don't have too much forward momentum. And that's a strike. Oh, this is the challenging ship. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six real cannons. That is going to wreck us. And everything is at the back. Oh, man. This is one of those where a small ship would be excellent against this. A big ship like mine is pretty screwed because I have to dig my way through all of this armor. All of these shields. Damn, this is well designed. Better designed than mine even. Uh, although it does only one thing. The question is, there are only two ways to, to think of this. We can either go in and just absorb it and just don't let you shoot more than once. Or we can just try to do a barrage. But the thing is, they will be shooting all of it and they'll be shooting at the middle. And I really don't want to lose all of this. We're probably going to lose all of, uh, all of our real cannons. Or at least half of them. Um, the only thing I can think of is question is whether we can snipe before they do something they can't we can't and we can't sort of circle around it 
this is where this is the good case of where multiple ships because if we saw this we would just keep our distance and then circle around with the multiple other ships now i want to target like the extremely outer point here um and then real fan away i want to also absorb as many of the hits as possible not on the front shields so i'll try to sort of be pivoting a lot more so that we don't get it on the front shields there we go they... i got one i'll target the other one immediately and then i pivot a lot to the side so they don't hit the same place and then i pivot all the way back I got another one. And we just kind of stay out here. There we go. That was their pivot. Then we pivot a break. And I get one. I got one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that yet. I'm not ready. Pivot array. Ugh. As long as it's not that many shots, then our PDCs can actually take them out. Unfortunately, we are the same rhythm as they are, but um, they're pretty uh, wrecked now. There. Woo, that was really well done. Look at that, 11 against a six shield. Okay, good. So that was um, absorbing it everywhere else except on our forward rail cannon. So by doing pivoting, like heavy pivoting, we could actually avoid that. That was actually the one ship that I was fearing uh, the most that I've sort of seen around uh, was a level 15 Shrike. Great. I think this is also a sign for us that we need to go to a more difficult zone. So let's go for like the most difficult ones and then see see what's, uh, what's there. And so we are coming into the hardest zone in the area. Uh, in the entire game, and well, I wonder how. Oh my God, that's a great way to start, isn't it? <laughs> wow, I did not see that coming. But okay, I guess it's the hardest part. So uh, we're gonna start by uh, getting a little combat going. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's see what uh, what we have here. What kind of welcoming committee we got for us? Uh, they're coming in pretty much at the same time. That's not so good. Let's slow down a bit and then see what we can get. Let's just pause our ship. So we don't get too much of an approach vector. There we go. That's an echo. So far, so good. Uh, that is definitely not a problem. It does have two of these, so. Oh, that's beautiful sound. I love that sound. Unfortunately, it didn't actually kill it. It just absolutely sliced through it. Ooh, a liberator. That's interesting. What is this? That's a sensor ray in the middle. I don't know if this one probably will be taken out by incidental crap. Uh, what is this one about? Hmm. Okay, so they have shields in here, but shoot some EMPs and some flax. It seems like I would just go for the bridge here. And there's another bridge there. Okay. <laughs> shooting straight through the other ship. Okay, but... Um... Hey, we're, we're getting it. And push it away. We're still not getting it. It's just too much in the way. And what is the last one? That's the level 8. Did we get that one? Yes, I think we did. And we're doing our very best to keep it at a distance. Oh, that sound is so beautiful. All right. Got it. That's bricked. What about this? This is laser cannons, so everything, just keep it away. Just keep it at the distance. Should be fine. And then the last, last echo, which is somehow still alive. Um, that's that cockpit is still alive. Okay, weird. And if we look at our there, look at this—the fueling part. We've been shooting non-stop here. 
and it's not a problem if we just hurry up and go in here and our build mode or even go out and yeah everything is powered pretty much immediately I we saw a little uh, second of uh, of problems all right well hey that was the first first fight in this area and we uh, we managed that without a hitch that was not difficult interesting like so this would be like level 16 to 18 and we have a level 14 plus two level eights don't know how those are added up it's probably a advanced formula for how that adds up all right we got another engagement here and this is a single ship so this could be a, like a level 16 ship it could be a level 18 ship it's gonna be interesting hold i break right now so, I wonder if it's going to get into a fight with something else. It is actually getting into a fight with something else. Whoa, that's a lot of... What the hell? Oh my god, that... Good thing I'm not against that ship. They are so cool. Huh. Yeah, let me just go in here. I My brick is bigger than, than theirs. That's so cool. Those are some big ships. And we have to remember which one's the enemy. <clears throat> I'll bump into it. I mean, if you get hurt, then that's fine. Get over here. I'm just really cautious about just accidentally... Uh... Oh, I'm so worried that I'll accidentally shoot straight through it. This is very much very dead, so not a problem. Uh, actually, maybe we should uh, use this for something else. There we go. Whoa, okay. Um, that was kind of weird, but massive and awesome ship. That is so crazy, that ship. That looks so good. I wonder what level that is. Oh, level 17 ship. Mm. Yeah, well, that means we're going to come up against those soon or as well. All right, single ship enemy. So that is going to be interesting to see if that. Uh, uh, oh no! What kind of how difficult this ship is? And okay, we're we're back on track. And I'll be breaking now because you are coming in. I just don't want to have forward momentum when they get in here. Okay, it's another thing. Okay, that's an onager. Okay, let's figure out what this does. That this launches rockets. Hmm. Okay. And nothing in here. That's weird. I think I can just slice it. This should be this should be pretty trivial. Watch me. Okay. back again got that one and it's very very close to just bursting into flames by itself okay we need to get a little bit closer that nah, doesn't matter <laughs> yep it burst into flames by itself okay that was that was a, a bad ship just flat out bad ship Ooh, we got out of the contact just before we get reach the station. That's perfect. That's going to be our last contact here. So let's give us a challenge. Give us a good, uh, a good massive ship and break. Oh, okay. So now we get this stigel again. Um, it has, what, what is the point of it? Oh, it's, it's, I don't know what it is. So it has a million PDCs on the front. And then it has an absolute insane amount of stuff on the back. I just don't think it's very good. Like, it's it has a lot of threat, but I, I'm... I don't want to get let you get in, in range. I think it's, it's just that, right? Just don't get in range. Yeah. They need to shoot at the same time. Because otherwise they uh, 
they get taken out by the PDCs. But if they all shoot at the same time, then the PDCs cannot take them out. Watch. Like that. Well, <clears throat> I think we can safely say, well, maybe at least this point, we can, uh, we, we're... We're not under leveled for this area. This is definitely where we need to be. There's definitely going to be some challenges and I'm sure that we'll find some for the next episode because we want to, uh, since this is the hardest uh, zone, then we will absolutely clear everything in this zone just so that we can say, hey, we uh, we did that. And that will be, uh, there's still room for optimization. To be perfectly honest, looking at this ship right now, the weakest point is the fact that, yeah, I mean, if I could have twice as much armor and twice as much shield up front, I would definitely do that. But I don't think I, I realistically can throw in more. So I think I'll, I'll keep this ship a, a bit like this. And of course, if there are some good comments about uh, things that could be improved, then I'll try to impr uh, implement them. But actually right now I'm pretty happy with this ship. Uh, of course, railguns are pretty damn good, so that helps a lot. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to get this uh, design, then you can just uh, look in the description. There's a link or maybe even a comment. There's a link to my Google Drive where I store all of these. I know they could put them on the Steam Workshop, but I don't bother with the Steam Workshop. So if anyone wants to put them on Steam Workshop, you can, you're welcome to do that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the like button and of course subscribe if you've uh, made it all the way to the end. Until next time, take care and stay effective.